In today's episode, let's check out Aurobindo Ashram's Ketki Incense. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense caution. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. In these kind of episodes, we first check out the packaging and fragrance of the incense, then we talk a little about the incense world and then we have a quiz. So you might want to stay here till the end. So today we have this Aurobindo Ashram's Cottage Industries Agarbatti and it comes in a simple white butter paper pouch like this and it has a label on top. It says there's the, the logo, the cottage logo that you can see somewhere here and the number is number 17 Ketki. It says incense sticks, net weight 10 grams and 38 rupees is the price. Manufactured by Cottage Industries or Bindu Ashram Pondicherry and then they have the you know details given and the barcode given so cottageindustries.co.in so that's the kind of thing they have it's a very simple pack just a normal butter paper and we have a plastic pouch inside which is which is a which is an unbranded plastic pouch so we have the incenses in that and like I've told you, this is uh, for 38 rupees, but I think I got it from 23 or so because uh, I got this from Shabda, the Aurobindo Ashram bookstore in South Delhi, Sarvoda Enclave. And you have everything at a very discounted rate there. So anywhere between 10 to 60 percent is what you get. You get all types of soaps. There are many gift packs, ceramic products and, you know, incense, uh, incense holders, diffusers very many things so you might just want to check that out so that's there this is an this is an average size agarbatti a normal nine inch agarbatti and it has a beige bamboo core like this it's a simple black incense and this is the same fragrance the the sweet base that is there in most of Aurashikha and uh, Cottage Industries uh, incenses. This fragrance of Ketki strangely reminds me of a man's armpit. The fragrance is just like that. You know, every time I smell this, I'm reminded of a man's armpit. I'm sorry for this weird sense of smell, guys. So that's the kind of smell I get this from this cold incense. Now let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of the smoke as such. Let's see when we light up the incense in a house, what is the fragrance of it going to be like? So let's light up the incense. That fragrance of man's armpit is even more pronounced in the smoke. <laughs> and that that sweet blend which is common across all of the Aurashikha Agarbattis, the cottage industries ones is there. Except for the cones, I did not find, find that sweet blend in the incense cones of theirs. But I, you know, all of these incense sticks have that common incense, uh, you know, base blend which is very sweet and it is that typical bengali sweetness and uh, i like i like that sweet blend that is there in all of the incenses i liked it in the champa incense i liked it in the tube rose incense i liked it in the nag champa incense but i somehow don't like it in this because i don't like the fragrance of this of this incense um it's not a very strong fragrance it's it's mid mild it's not very mild either so if you like that mid mild kind of fragrance which is like sweet and i don't know it's i can only uh, you know describe that ketki fragrance as <laughs> man's armpit but that, that's the kind of fragrance I, I get from this 
but if you like an uh, overall uh, you know sweet fragrance uh, the kind of fragrance that is which has a base blend of sweetness and even once the incense is out once the incense has burned through the fragrance that you get in your house is very sweet and suppose someone has to come out you know come inside the house uh, somebody who has not been a part of this ritual will suddenly feel that there has been a sweetness uh, you know there has been a sweet incense that has been lit up in the house uh, so that's the kind of fragrance we have here so if you like that kind of fragrance you might want to try this and even otherwise you know the sense of smell is a very personal thing what is what appears to me as man's armpit may, may appear to to you uh, you know as something else so you might just like that so just try this incense if you want to try the 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 white lotus the ketki one and so that's the kind of fragrance we have here so that is aurobindo ashram cottage industries number 17 ketki if i have to give this a star rating i would i would give it a 1 so the dj's star quotient is 1 for this incense but that is not to say that you might not like it because as i said sense of smell is a very personal thing i did not like this but you might like it very much so if you do get a chance to try this somewhere try this for yourself and do come and let me know in the comment section what you uh, you know let me know what you found it this to be like and i'd love to like you uh, you know i'd love to know your experience about this so that's ketki so in our last quiz i'd asked you what is the Uh, you know the story uh, related to ketki flower the the mythological importance of ketki flower as in the context of india so what we know of it is that ketki is the flower that was cursed by uh, shiv ji you know uh, he cursed it because once there was this competition between brahma and vishnu and they both wanted to know which is the superior one so shiva asked them to go and find out the length and you know the beginning and the end of the shiv punj the shiv uh, pind which is a light which is a pillar of light which is almost a pillar of light and so vishnu went the uh, you know he went down and brahma went up and both of them tried to see the end and the beginning of the punj the light pillar and brahma ji met ketki flower there and He asked Ketki to come to Shiv ji and second Brahma's opinions about the light pillar and Shiv ji was very unhappy and he cursed both of them so Ketki was asked not to be ever offered to uh, Bhagwan Shiv and Brahma ji was cursed that he would never be worshiped by the human kind so as we know there's just one temple of Brahma which is in Pushkar they say that we do not have any other temple of Brahma in india and in the world anywhere and uh, so uh, that's the story about ketki so ketki is the flower that was cursed by shiv and she is never offered to shiv as such so that's the story of ketki now the quiz for today is what is samrani so that's the quiz for today i hope you liked today's episode and learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it too share it with them if you liked it give it a like check out the link uh, check out the description and uh, there's a link to this incense and very many other stuff incense related we also have the link to meri pratham sanskrit pustika the alphabet the sanskrit alphabet book for kids and uh, do try to answer the quiz let me know your comments uh, you know let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and that's all for the episode today till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste